Previously on Nino Kune 2 Revenant Kingdom. Whoa! What the? <laughs> what the heck? Did you just make me eat you stupid little shit! I'm gonna fucking kill you, guys! Yeah, yes, it's a revolutionary new. It's called Nutriblam. <sighs> Nutriblam? More like Nutriblam! <laughs> More like Nutriblam! And now back to. Holy shit, Roland's got a gun! Holy shit, we got a bunch more in Hydropolis again, too. There's so much to do! Um, excuse me? Do you perhaps feel a little better now? Yes, the pain is eased. Thank you. Honestly, Thetis, you are a miracle worker. Sure, the finest doctor Hydropolis has ever seen. Thanks. Such kind words. Thank you. Now remember, you are the fo to focus on your recovery. Do not overexert yourself under any circumstances. Your doctor, you look more like a warrior. Hi. Good day. So something that ails you, so they can help you with. Oh no! I'm just curious about what you were doing. That's all. I see. Well, as you've no doubt realized, I'm a doctor. My name's Thetis. I'm simply administering to a regular patient of mine. You may not have heard, but it's recently been discovered that some of the, us Merfolk begin to become sick when we spend prolonged periods out of the water. Of course. Of course. I've been confined within Hydropolis for so long. Your kind of have not had cause to send, spend significant time on land. Indeed, but the laws have not changed, and merfolk are free to travel as they please. However, there's still those who prefer not to venture outside for fear of becoming ill as their kinfolk have. Gosh. Gosh, such a shame. Is there anything we do to help them? Excuse me? As a matter of fact, there is. I've recently concocted a potion that I hope will prevent merfolk from suffering any ill effects from outside the water. But it requires one final ingredient. Mm. Really? I'm sure we can find it for you. Thanks. That'd be wonderful. The great question is called Deep Sea Water. Yes, we found a cave on an inland in a part of the world that receives far less sunlight than Hydropolis. Yes. A cave on an inland in a part of the world that receives less sunlight than Hydropolis. I know precisely the place. Tidewash Cave on the coast of Ida Downs. Come on, Evanless. Let's set, our, set our out right away. Okay. Oh, you also have cauldron sense. Okay. Fantastic. What am I to do? So we cannot walk away and leave Taverna unattended. Is everything all right? You look a little worried. Hey! Oh, please. You must help me. I'm the most terrible bind. A letter came for me today, you see. A letter unlike any I have ever received before. Gosh, what was so unusual about it? Here, see for yourself. I cannot begin to make sense of what it means. All right. All right, let's take a look. Hark, an angel has descended from above. Fairly, she is more pure than the dove. Every night when I close my eyes to sleep, her face floats into view, low when I weep. I cannot live without knowing my sweet. My passion burns with intolerable heat. Come to me on my perch above the bay, and my heart's truth to you I will say. Oh, somebody loves you. <laughs> Crikey! Crikey! I guess himself quite the poet, doesn't he, this fellow? Hmm. Am I really going to go see him on this perch above the ocean? There's so much I do not understand. Why does he wish to meet? What does he expect of me? <laughs> he wants to date you, God! I say his intentions are fairly clear based on the letter. Please, you must assist me. You must go in my place and investigate. I cannot go myself! So I'm unable to leave the Taverna. Oh, come on. I'll, all right, I'll be back as soon as I've spoken to him. Thanks. Ah, uh, e Evan the Matchmaker once more. Oh, thank you, thank you. And please, you must accept my apologies for having involved you in my personal affairs. Oi! You do know what we're dealing with, my head, don't you, Evan? Hmm. Of course I do. It's a love letter. Tragic enough, the only person who doesn't seem to realize that is the person who re received it. Just go and talk to whoever sent it. Must be desperate to know what's going on. You went wrong there. I can eat on there, man! Alright, let's go find a, a pine romantic! Oh, hey! Hydropolitan Stew. I need that for a different quest, I believe. Although, I might be able to make it myself now that I have that recipe book. <laughs> These two little babies. Oh! Oh, hello! What are you doing, Hydropolis? Where are your parents? Oh! From Clackwell Canyon. <laughs> Hi, we came with, here with our father! We like playing here so much, we decided to stay behind! It's a veritable paradise! <laughs> <laughs> you are, I that is. Excuse me? Oh dear, I must be worried sick about you. Children shouldn't be wandering around in the faraway kingdoms like all by themselves, you know. Why don't I take you back to the Sky Pirate base? Huh? Not on your life, matey. You're a child yourself, Cursey. Here you are going hither and thither with the nary a grow to watch every ye. Come along and play, will ye? Oh, I got Daddy rolling with me, actually. You are, come along and play. Sorry, but I didn't come here to play. I don't have time, so if you... Hey! What's that now? Sorry, I can't hear you! If you want to listen to you, you have to beat me in a race! Yar, I erase! Alright. 
Fine, I'll race you if I must. But if I win, you're coming with me to Sky Pirate Base, all right? Deal, he. Is someone ready to start the race? Ah, mm. right, we're ready. Go whenever, whenever. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, I got a strawberry chew if I win. Okay, I'll do that in a second. Let me go and talk to this girl. Animal loving girl. Please, please, you must tell me. Remember some word about poor Draken. Draken? Who's that? He is my pet lizard, my best friend in all the world. My mean old mother does not like him. Says he's dangerous, refused to allow me to keep him in the house. I have to keep him hidden in a secret place. But then my mother found this out, forbade me from ever going near it. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. So who's looking after him now? Yeah. I do not know. Mother has always been watching me like a hawk. Never had a chance to sneak off and see him. Poor Draken. He's unused to the ways of the world. Not doubt he can cope without me. I fear that he's wailing with hunger as we speak. Gosh. Gosh. See why you're worried. Listen, why don't we go and check up on him for you? It's probably Ooh. this massive dragon, right? You would do that? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Please, get us to track him when you see him. <laughs> Dragon's favorite snack. I think of cheese. <laughs> we go there. He's, he starts attacking us. We have to fucking kill him. We come back. Uh, well, yes, about that dragon fellow. Uh, we give him the cheese and that he's totally fine. Oh, good. So glad to hear. Okay, now's the chance. Run, Lofty. <laughs> oh, wait for me, Evan. His favorite snack. And he always used to have, likes to have one to chew on. I'd be delighted to receive a fresh supply. <laughs> Great, thank you. So where exactly is his secret hiding place? It's the Coral Cove. It's a grotto situated on the Makotos, an island east of here. It's here to be a little treacherous, so please be careful. You know him by the color I gave him. It has a silver heart on it. All right. Silver heart, you say? All right, we'll go and see dra how Dragon is doing. We'll pull back to you as soon as we can. Yeah. Wonderful. I'll be waiting for you here. Okay. Milk chew. All right, real quick, let's go ahead and race the little goobers. Ready to race? Are you ready to slam? Let's do it, little buddy. E, you're all set, eh? Right, I'll show how this works. It's as simple as can be. But we're mixing the finish the line first of the winner. There's no path yet to follow it either. Run wherever you like. So now, where's the finish line? Why, well, it's just, just over yonder. Uh. Right there. Okay. Now, are you ready? On your marks, get set, go! Ah! Uh, really? You're gonna run in bare feet, too, you little weirdo? Okay, let's have a look around the map here. Okay, I'm gonna take a left up here and just head straight down the, uh... Okay, can I, can I head that way? I think I can. Just going that way, I'm going this way. Ah! Ugh. You have to go up around this side. Ah! Uh, come on, baby. Oh, please let me jump off here. Thank you. Uh, I win, bitch! Ha! Get smoked. <laughs> Alright, I can't believe you beat me! Curse you! You're so special, and no mistake. Ah! <sighs> uh, uh, I, I didn't expect you'd be so quick. You must have had a lot of practice. Uh. <laughs> You're faster than him. You're much faster than stupid old King Evan. Just found some cheer shortcut, that's all. Huh. I know that he means you swab. That's all part of the game. He said there was no direct path. All right, I was thinking I knew Hot Drop looks like the back of my hand. So I still got a lot to learn. This I still got a way to go. All right, come on, for this fair square. Home time. Roy. Aye, aye. Hey. Wait, let me take you. It's not safe. Ha ha! Much obliged, Your Majesty, but what kind of sky parts would you be if you couldn't find our way back home with that little helping hand? Ha ha! What he said? Uh, what? What he said? Talk, talk, tell you, Your Majesty! Oh, uh, he said that, okay. Strawberry too, thank you! Oh, you're definitely someone significant. Um. Hippono. Oh, you appear to be a stranger in these parts. Well, how do you do? Um, my name is Hippono. I'm an artist. Oh! An artist? That's wonderful! Can I see what you're working on? Oh! N no! You must not look! It, it is not yet complete! Oh, alright! Well, I'd love to see it once you're finished! Yeah... I'm afraid you may be waiting some time for that. Aww. Oh. But, but listen, there's something I would like to share with you! You see, I'm terribly shy. Too shy to even venture out and seek the help I need. Yeah, and? Oh, I see where this is going! Spit out, where are you? What are you after, huh? Yeah. Well. A certain thing I require from a work, but it's not to be found in this kingdom. I don't have the courage to venture out of field to find it. Flippin' it, man! Flippin' it, man! Just tell us what you need us to, to go and fetch for you! Um... I've heard there's a special type of egg that changes color when it's boiled. 
Last, I do not know its name or where it might be found. All right. Don't worry, we'll find one for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I probably have that. I have a lot of... I do have a lot of eggs. A fertile mind. An eye for color and beauty that can boost the market garden's productivity. All right. Aquarium jelly. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to make that my current quest. Oh, well, whatever. Oh. Oh, here we go. Jazz... Jazz egg! Hello. Here you are. I brought you a jazz egg. It's the one you wanted, isn't it? The one that changes color when it's boiled. Thanks. Oh, yes. This is what I asked for. Oh, can I wait to see what she produces? Oh, I'm so terrible. Start to ask. There's one thing I need you to bring me. It's a mushroom that feels alive. It's all colors when cut open. Just bring me the fungus which I speak. Flip it, act Flip man. Flip it, act man. Another favor? Thank you for the shy, man. Now, now, Lofty. Don't worry, Hippo. Uh, hippo, no. Just wait here and we'll bring you all your mushroom. Hey. Okay. Uh, exotic colors from sliced open. I think it's this one. Yeah, yeah. Sweet dream truffle. Look at the rainbows, hey. a kaleidoscope. That's what you were looking for. A sweet re dream truffle. It's supposed to be rainbow color on the inside. <laughs> yes, this is it. So you're sure to bring me pleasant dreams, just the name suggests. You have brought me such beautiful things. What if I could trouble you for one? No, nah, man. Absolutely not, man. And anyway, you don't need it. I help no more. I say a so-called shyness has been well and truly cured. Uh, oh, listen, you. you! Should be ashamed of yourself. Take advantage of poor Evans to again and again. You little shit. Fuck you! <laughs> he just knocks it, knocks her painting in the ocean. <laughs> no! They fuck this bit. I'm tired of all these people asking us to do shit for them. Lofty must have said things like that. No, little Fred is correct. I've been taking advantage of your kindness. I do feel ashamed, but give me more. Afraid I must ask this one last request. Okay, what? Well, it's, it's not gonna stop me. If you choose to accept it, of course, it's entirely up to you. Please take some time to think about it. If you decide to help me, wait here for you and place in our droplets where two goddesses meet. Oh, oh my! Great, she's gone. Now look what you've done, Lofty. Ah, oh, fuck, I don't give a shit. Look, if you ain't gonna stand up for yourself, I ain't got no choice to do it for you, have I? If you're gonna go tra trap, uh, traipsing off to whatever this two goddesses place is, be my guest, mod. I got time for that shit. Well, it's, uh... It's, oh, it's over there. Where the two goddesses meet. Behold. Oh, you, you came. So glad, Evan. They, so glad. Thank you, Evan. This quay is where we come to greet visitors in our kingdom. To say farewell to those who are leaving. And today I've come to farewell to my old self. You show me that I have no need to be timid. Teach your little first show me that my shyness was merely an illusion. <laughs> no problem, my love. Just glad to come near. Come out of your sh shell a bit, that's all. Yes, I am. Believe me. Now, as I said, I have one favorite, last favorite to ask of you. Oh, God damn it! For a few views, of course, but like you allow me to come and join you in your kingdom. Uh, oh, that's all. Well, get your ass over here. I promise I'll stop pestering you with annoying requests while I'm there, but I do promise to pay you the most beautiful pictures that I can. Oh, my! That sounds great, Opono. I can't wait to see them. Come on down! There we go! Boom! I got some aquarium jelly! So many quests, so many little time! Do 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 Well, look at this little stud muffin here. Excuse me? Come now, please. You're preventing me from carrying out my duties. Is there something the matter? King Evan! It's wonderful to make your acquaintance. I, Forky, is one of the guards charged with protecting Metropolis. Alas, I find it rather difficult to do so at present. Ever since Thalmus abandoned this kingdom in such a pastor's new, his fans have turned his attention to me instead, damn it! The new hottie! Oh my god, dude, what the hell? This doesn't seem like a problem to me. <laughs> Except maybe that old meme all there. Ah, come here, you blue whippersnapper! Ha! Ah. There really are a lot of them. Seems you're very popular, Forkies. Hmm. They just want to taste of my fins, that's all. Just nothing but a piece of slab of salmon to them. Just an honor, of course, but they, they crown me so I'll be unable to swing my famous hammer in defense of my kingdom. Without my hammer, I'm unable to perform my duties. Just have some suggestions on how to resolve the situation, Your Majesty. Smoke bomb! Boo! <laughs> roll, Daddy, roll comes out! Blast grenade! Boo! <laughs> Run! We could always come live in my kingdom. Sure, you find it easier to call strain your work over there. But of course, what an ingenious idea. I no doubt I'd be very happy in your kingdom. I'm afraid I could not possibly join you there. Oh, uh, why not? Yeah. You should for me first. My dog fans simply would not allow it. Only a few days ago, I mentioned that I might one day wish to see something out in the world. I made the position abundantly clear. The condition under which they would permit me to leave would be that if my being honored with an offer from a military power level A or above. Anything less than it would tear me from limb from limb. Gosh, that's rather... 
intimidate. Oh, I'm oh, I'm fucking fine. I'm finally someone actually brought up at those levels. Is that you're the first person to do so? I was gonna wonder if there's any purpose to them. I'm level S, so yeah, you're good, dude. They are simply concerned for my well-being, and they worry about what, what would happen to my reputation if I would associate myself with the kingdom possessing anything other than the mighty some armies. Well, if we need an army of that standard in order for you to join us, th that's what you have to build. Yeah, you would do this for me. Oh, oh, thank you. Should wait anxiously for further news. Okay, charisma. I cheerfully send you to a position that can help boost work at the barracks. Good. Thanks. Oh. Oh. So. Oh. Shit. Okay. I guess I just did it. I. I, th I thought I was gonna be like. I don't know why, but I thought there'd be like a choice where it said, uh, "Say yes to this" or something. Do you wish to give him the? Exactly. There's nothing really to give him. Yes, your Majesty. Not my master. I shall swing my face hammer service you in your kingdom. All right. Cool. Yes. In honor to serve such a wise and ever leader, I shall endeavor to give you the give the best of my all all times. All right. Got to do hammer guy. It's hammer time! Who's level 18 too? The helping hand. Use press of the field reduces the amount of might used to revive allies. Oh, that's pretty good. Weakens the weapons of an enemy unit directly ahead, lowering its attack power. Okay, that's the same as uh well, actually no, I don't have anyone with that right now. It's good, but I, again, I still kind of just like how my party is, really. Oh, I knew you'd join my kingdom at some point. I passed by you early Hi. on. You have come from across the mighty ocean, yes, which can tell me the kingdom from which you hail. My kingdom, well, it's a brand new nation that my friends and I set up in the heartland, so, you know, it's a big old clubhouse with a giant kitty ears on it. From all over the world are moving there to live. By the gods, yes. Just a wonderful place, I'm sure of it. Imagine all the people and things from all nations of our world were, one would be able to see there. Be more than welcome to come and live there if you'd like. But really? You allow me to reside in your kingdom? I always want a simple life outside Hydropolis, I must say. Alas, I must refuse your kind offer. Uh, Mother would never allow me to go, you see. What? Really? I'm sure you could persuade her, though, couldn't you? If you explained everything, I mean. Yeah. I'm afraid it is out of the question. My mother has made it clear that I'm not to leave Hydropolis under any circumstances. Yep. Evan, how about we go and have a word with his, his mom, eh? I'm sure we can make her see sense. Wait, is this a boy or a girl? Is it his? A kind hard young merman! Oh, you're a boy, okay, well. Well, screw me then. S Sorcerer's Instinct, okay, an act of con conjury. Okay, good, I think I need that for something as well. Oh, it's in this little house here. I didn't even know I could go in here. Hello there, mom. <sighs> <laughs> Absolutely not! But, but... But, we haven't even asked you anything yet. Hmm. Heard every word for a little chat chat from Milus. Yes, I was spying on him, but it's for so good! Well, I started off as far too dangerous for my little boy! Must remain here! That's fine! Forever! We can die in this place! Man! Not bad, that man! I've uh, heard of old protected pass. This is a whole new level! It's a shame. Mala seems so keen to travel. I wish I could grant his wish, but I'm petrified of what might happen. I myself have not dared to leave Hydropolis in years. No, I'm gonna come to your son in my kingdom, I promise. Honestly, it's just to save Hydropolis. Hell, uh, you can come too if you want, I don't care. <sighs> suppose I have no reason to, to not believe you. You are king after all. Fine, well, I'm about to join your kingdom. But on one condition! You must have a new outfit before he travels. I need to keep him safe from harm. Would you be so good as to fetch the materials I require? Mm. Of course, that won't be a problem at all. Very well, place me three bolts of seraphic silk. That's all I require. I shall be wait for you to return. Oh dear, I don't know if I have that actually. Uh, oh, maybe I do. Hello. Oh god, I have barely enough. I'm pretty sure I need that for something else, but fuck it. Just do it. So you brought me the material I requested. Sardic Silk takes protective charms very well, you see. She'll be much better at Miles' journey knowing that his outfit had made of it. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Ah! He still looks like a girl, though. M mother this robe is- is it? Yes, my dear, it's a robe of just the- the kind our family have always done before setting out on the travels. So get the shit out of here! M mother it suits you, my boy. It suits you, boy! Thank you for assistance, your majesty. Now that my son has the robe, I can rest safely knowing that no harm will befall him on a route to your kingdom. Mm. Yes, yeah, all because of the clothes. I, I feel a bit bad about taking him so far away. <sighs> Nonsense! All you've done is make me see the error of my ways! So easily, too! I like, like you barely said anything! I'm just like, okay, take him! You have reminded me that the world outside Hieropolis is nothing to be affr affrighted of. I'm so terribly sorry, Milas. 
should never prevent you from following your dreams. I think you now live the life that you have always, always wanted. So don't you dare touch any dinner meals while you're out there. Ah! It's not a tango again. I'm a fish person this time. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, mother. Thank you. Thank you, too, King Evan. Can I always serve my, start my new life in your kingdom? Okay, great. Four people. Four. God, I need a hundred people to get to level four. It's going to be a while. Double what I already had. Okay, there's nobody in the throne room this time. One more in Cardius Square. Hello. Good day to you. <laughs> Good day to you. Greetings to you, honored customer, and welcome to Halamedes Hair Salon. What color should I dye your hair today? Oh. Oh, dye my hair. Uh, um, no, thank you. I'm fond of it as it is. I like my blonde mm. kitty hair. If you're not here to dye your hair, then wait. I recognize you. You're the king who made the public proposal, are you not? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha! Look at that, everyone. The talk of the town. Say, so, man, Tawny. I can't admit, though. It's a hairdresser, ain't it? I know a few people at Evermore have been talking, have been hankering after a fancy new do. Evermore? Ah! You wish me to move there, yes? I'm flattered, of course, but I'm far too busy to leave my salon at the moment. Besides, I have no interest in working for people who have no appreciation of beauty. What the flip? Ch what the flip chicken, so and so? Oh, have you? No, we love some bit of beauty over our way. Yeah, look at me. I'm so adorable. Very well. Then you have no trouble improving it by bringing me the heat blooms I require. <laughs> Too flippin' right, we won't. Come on, then. Show for everybody a, a pop off a color. But Lofty, I'm not even sure what the... Oh, all right, then. You're right. We could do this do with a hairdresser of an Evermore. <laughs> Pair that we have an agreement. Excellent. Please remember you with a with a cool blue color reminiscent of the ocean surrounding Hydropolis. Oh, good. Fortunately, I'm not colorblind. Fertile mind, okay. Boost sparkest productivity. Sounds good. All right, I mean, the sapphire, Hugh, Hugh Bloom. A uh, wonderful, cool blue and perfectly reminiscent of the ocean surrounding Hydropolis. Uh. Exactly, Hugh Bloom had in mind. You did well to find it. <laughs> well, we. Last night, man. Pa! Speed skate, man! Told you I had to pop a good eye for color! <laughs> Excellent, it will stand you in good stead for my next request. What? What? More flipping arrows, man! Any fail scene could pick the correct Hugh Bloom once. Proves nothing, but still what? My future king is the appreciation of beauty I require. It's just freaking colors, for God's sake. It's not that hard. God, fair enough, I suppose. Better safe than sorry and all. Oh, better safe than sorry and all that. Very well. Next people would like you to bring me is one that shines like the midday sun. Precious beauty is well, as well honed as your claim. You should have no problem finding it. Okay. That'd be you. Yeah, Lello. <laughs> when I was a kid, that's how I used to say my, my favorite color was Lello. <laughs> Ah, yes, yes, exactly what I had in mind. Hugh Bloom that shines like the midday sun. And Lisa Simpson's head. Oh, ha, ha, ha. You too, huh? Oh, great, yes. And how soon do you see that only this extreme would work fit the bill? I just really do have the aesthetic accessibility appreciation of beauty that I see. Oh. Really? Does that mean? Nope. Gotta go for three, though, perhaps. But I have it to fully be convinced. Watch one more Hugh Bloom. No, that should be a sign. You have to be flipping it for Lumen Ola. It's not too much to ask. After all, I found the glad thing Hugh Bloom is one of the greatest for his dog. Blah, 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 blah. The final flower would like to fetch the variety I've yet to see with my own eyes. Elegant, imperial, and ladylike. But you never actually seen it, then how do you know if I got it? Sadly not, or should I say, not yet. If your suspicions are as funny to as your claim, then I expect you will have no trouble in discerning it what, which one it is. Okay. <laughs> Elegant, imperial, and ladylike in color. Probably the, probably this one, right? Diamond, you blue. Flip. No? What the flipping dick? <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, Amethyst? Ah, uh, yep, there oh. we go. I got you one that was even nicer than that. Yes, yes, it's it. It's you blew my mind. I must have seem more elegant than I ever dared to imagine. What an honor to have one call my own. <laughs> right, we picked all your favorite flowers for you. You're gonna be me, you know, I'm beauty, I did the one. <laughs> Absolutely, you're more than proving yourselves. Not only do you have impeccable sense, but you also appear to understand my taste. You know, I wonder if when all these kingdoms were made, they had to go through the same shit we did. <laughs> all these fetch quests and fucking bounties. Kill everybody! If I was to live in your kingdom, Madam Cernan, if you'll permit me to join you, mm. that is. Oh, absolutely. You're more than welcome, Halamidi. Boosh! Got it! Yes, lovely! Watch out, world! Well, Evermore's taking a turn for the trendy! Alright, dripping ring! Get in my kingdom! Alright. That's everything in Hydropolis. Okay, we got a few here in Goldpaw. You again, hey. dude? How fortunate I've come to you, King Evan. I mean to ask you. How um, are the meat jackpots and evermore? Mm -hmm. Master Chow Chow. Me. What? I'm sorry, I'm not sure I quite know what you mean. 
No, yeah, the chance to try one. That's a shame. After all, your friend did come all the way here to learn how to repair that king oh. among dishes. Oh, I see. You must be talking about Floyd. Thank you for being so <laughs> kind to him. It was my pleasure. I do not think I ever met anyone who had so much appreciation for my our cuisine. Our ex ex exchange of knowledge is sure to strengthen the ties between our two kingdoms and even further. Strange, though. Floyd doesn't mention anything about coming okay. here. I'm sure he does me. I'll make to keep this new and expertise to himself. I'll speak to him when, when you next return to your home. Yes, I think I will. So Floyd's the first to cook meat jackpot ready for us when we get back to Evermore! Okay. Your necklace of insight. Thought you, you might be joining my kingdom too then. Hey! You there! Please, you must help me! I lost my purse! I can't seem to find it anywhere! I'm going to look for it, but I'm needed here! I'm not prepared to leave my post! Oh dear. What do you remember having it last? Um. Well, that's part of the problem. My memory is really terrible these days. I've no idea where I last saw it. Crikey! Crikey! Let's not get involved in this one, Evan Mon. Some people can't, like, just can't be Excuse helped. Excuse me! Excuse me! But if we do, we have to do something lofty, she lost her purse. That's how awful that must be. Alright, but as long as it's not like last game, we have to go fetch and fucking... That guy's diary all over the goddamn world again! The stupid old man! <laughs> I'm so salty about that shit, I wasn't even in that game! Alright, let's forget about what you, what you last saw. Can you tell us by telling us everywhere you've been today? Yeah. Today, hmm, let me think. Oh, yes, I went to the casino. I was there, met a dog who lives in my neighborhood. He told me he was worried about eating too much and getting fat. But as far as I was concerned, if anything, he was too thin. But I keep telling him so, you're far too thin. I say, but he never listens. I do one day hope he will be wasted away all again. Hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Right, yes. Now, after the casino, did you come straight here? No, no. After the casino, I went to do some shopping with the Lucky Lotus. After that, uh, what did I do after that? Oh, yes, I went to do a friend of mine. She was from Gold Bar, and she was back visiting. We talked about various things for a little while, then we walked back here together. Then my friend and I, next thing I knew, my mirror purse was missing! Missing! I really have no idea where it could be! Hmm. Sounds like Lucky Lotus the last place you used it. Go and ask if they got it there. Be very kind of you. Thank you. I'll be waiting here. Okie dokie. Yes, now this guy with a cauldron sense. Hello there. Oh, hello there. Taskmaster told me about how you ran that little errand for me. I say I would totally lost us to solutions and help the people who perform tasks for them. I mean, could you imagine if I had to gather my own medicinal mushrooms? What can I do for you today? Wait, you're not telling me. You wish for me to go, go my personal assistant? Huh. Wish for me to come and live in your kingdom? Oh, you must be joking. Talent such as mine does not come cheap, you know. If you're thinking you can provide me five remuneration for my comparable <laughs> service. You do? Ha! Ah, well, okay, that's all I gotta say then. I say I better take you at your word. I should look forward to working with you, little king. Alright. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I much prefer my talents have been earned the right to right by to retire by now. Well, all in good time. Just give, do not give me anything too difficult to, to do, alright? One of your customers may have left her puss here earlier today. By the talk to the local um, lady. Oh, yes, I know what you mean. She was here earlier. She looked a terrible tumble. She left what? the shop. Oh, you mean she fell over? Yes, quite badly. While her shopping and her other pa passers too were scattered all over the place. She was fortunate that some passerbys helped her pick everything up. Could you tell us more about these passerbys? Yes. Certainly. There were three of them, I believe. First, some member with beautiful red hair. Second so was a local feather fellow who was wearing a black clothes and a blue fur. And some round patches near his eyes. There was also a local, some lady with brown fur. She was wearing a front wife, if I remember correctly. It's wonderful. Thank you. I'll go and look for them and see if we can help track see down the missing again. purse. Okie dokie. That'd be you. Excuse me. Excuse me? What if you just outside the L Lucky Lotus earlier today when a lady fell over and dropped her things on the street? Huh? Oh, yes. Remember the incident to which you refer? Of the poor lady who gathered her possessions? Did you to see her purse at all? Says she lost it, you see. Mm. Oh, dear. That is rather unfortunate. The last I do not remember seeing it. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you for your help anyway. Oi! That was much good to us, was it? See if you find a bit more one of the other people who helped a friend. Uh, you? Oh. Oh, hello? What can I do for you, young man? Well, for people who helped the lady who fell over outside the Lucky Lowe's earlier today. Match the description we were given for one of them. Oh yes, I was there. I remember the lady in question. She dropped her things all over the floor and helped pick- I helped her pick some of them up. Thing is, she seems to have lost her purse. I was wondering if you've maybe seen it. Huh? Her purse? Oh yes, I saw it. But the lady you mentioned had it in her possession at the time. Oh! Oh, really? <laughs> yes, I clearly remember. After I asked some people had helped her retrieve her things, she gave us all a sweet from her purse as a reward. Flippin' it, Flippin' it, ma'am! What kind of oddball keeps the sweets in her purse? Well, now at least we know she didn't lose them when she fell over. Us, can I provide you with any further information? But the lucky little shortly after the incident, and I've no, not seen the lady since. There's a young lady from Hydropolis, I believe, who also helped her pick up possessions, however. I believe they spoke for a while afterward. I do not know what they discussed, of course. Perhaps she knows more than I do about what happened. This is the person we just talked to, isn't it? Only from Hydropolis. Alright, well, go find her. See go you. find her. Okay. Mm. 
Been very helpful, thank you. Yeah, for sure was this chick. Did you lie to us earlier? Hello. Hello there. Do you know the lady fell over earlier today? Yeah. Yes, of course. And you're having to speak to her after the incident, I mean. Oh. Yes, for a little while. I said I wanted to buy some souvenirs from Gopon. I just gave her some recommendations. And then I asked her about her candy case. I liked it very much. I was curious as to where she had purchased it. Imagine my surprise when she announced she was giving it to me as a gift. I was shocked. They were so grateful. One of the ladies' friends came and joined us after that. Wait, wait, mm -hmm. what? Your candy case? She gave it to you? Yeah. You couldn't let us have a quick shifty at it, could you? You wish to see it? Certainly. The young woman shows Evan a company of the gifts she receives. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! I think that might be our missing purse. Oh. You mean she gave me her purse? Oh, but I thought it was merely a case for the sweet she was giving out. Do not have a purse like this in our droppers, you see? <laughs> she just gave it away, then she forgot she gave it away? What the fuck, stupid ass lady? The gods, poor woman, appear to have caused her a great deal of trouble. Please return to her at once. But she was the one that gave it to you. I just like. Oh my god, alright. Whatever, it's mine now, bitch! Alright, we'll go and give it back to her right away. Don't worry, we'll explain exactly what happened, too. Thank you, I would appreciate that very much. Silly old lady. Here you are, we found your purse. Stars! How oh, the word I mentioned losing in the first place! The young lady from our drop was told us you gave it to her as a present. No! Oh! <laughs> oh, yes, of course! Now I remember! She'll be picking up my things and we spoke for a while. So we select my purse and then. Yes, I give it to her! Give it back! I don't give it away anymore! So many things happened today, I've completely forgotten! God, seriously, lady? Oh, what trouble I have caused everyone! You, you, that poor young woman! So she. Was she who gave it to you? Mm. Yeah, she didn't quite understand what it was and felt awful when she realized. Huh? Oh, the poor sweet dear. Someone so caught her deserves much more than I do. I must find her and give it back to her. And then I'm gonna forget about it and never you go find it again. Damn it. No, you won't. There's a little second of your trouble. Here, please take this. You have earned it. Oh, a cough sweet. Yay. Great. Fuck. Great. Thanks, lady. Thanks for fucking nothing. Oh, we got one new thing in Capstan upon all. Hello. Arf, arf. I love the smell of the sea. The smell, the sweet smell of victory. Don't like. Don't like. Look at this, man. What they say about folks who are talking to themselves, ain't it? Huh? Ah, it seems the word of the rebirth of the mighty Paul Wall has sort of spread. You have done well to seek me out. Paul Wall? Paul Wall? The mighty um who? Paul Wall! The gr greatest canine of them all. The hero dog folk everywhere. His bark is shattered continents. This bite was even worse. It was the man I legend. He'll kill everyone. Now he's been reborn. Yes, so we're looking at none other than the reincarnation of Paul Wall himself. Gosh. Gosh. Supposed to be very strong then. Oh, just <laughs> completely insane. Very strong. Arf, arf, arf. You know this, silly boy. It's still, it's always a pleasure to meet Amara. His encounters that make pilgrimage as, uh, this, as this worthwhile. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang. Kiss the norm at my ear. Is there anything you, you all this pal our bloke born again? L lofty, shh. He's clearly not right in the head. Arf, arf. Fear not, little boy. It's quite normal to doubt one's eyes in the presence of greatness. Fortunately, I prepare myself to prepare to prove myself. Prepare to recreate one of Powwow's most legendary feats. Namely, the single digit smiting of the wolves. Huh? Single digit? Oh, you mean like a finger, ain't it? <laughs> exactly so. He's the old Powwow, famously defeated a pack of wolves by terrorizing this area using nothing but his little finger. Behold. Now I shall do the same. Be no doubt when I am Dean's reincarnation. <laughs> I cannot wait! Sweet victory, Megan's! <laughs> Oh god, this is what we get for talking to people. Mm. Off he goes. Do you think he's going to try and poke some wolves? Yeah, he's dead. Sound like yeah. Might be the only wolves we'll find around by here. Hedgehounds. It look like see anyone take on one of them with just a f little finger. They'll get bitten right off, man. We should go make sure he's alright before something awful happens. You went wrong there. I reckon we should, yeah. Come on, my boy. Follow that dog. Go after the reckless man. Nah, fuck it, he's dead. Don't care. Alright, let's go back to my... Seems to be everything, at least currently. There might be other quests in one of these uh, smaller areas, but... This is good for now. Although, actually, I'm gonna check the Higgledy Pig around. I still feel like this, this crazy dude will join me at some point. Okay, can I build any of these other areas now? Oh, I got this one, though. Fertile Mind! Build! Good. Now upgrade. More! More power. And the next one not till level four. 
All right, finally I have cauldron sense. Now I can do. Oh, Margie May leveled up. She's a master yeah. now. They're putting her doing any job, man. She's always the same. Name Mr. Target. Oh, we got quite a few more. Lycorius, also a master. Hello. Won't do my life's come true here. It means I must fill myself ever more completely to assisting those in need. And Fisher's fingers, master as well. <laughs> I feel that silly bitch for the Glockus and I are growing closer, but I said too much. Please give me work to do. Oh my god, you falling for a Glockus now too? God, why does everyone like that douche? Yes, this one. All right, Pothair's Creed. Mid-level medicine. There we are. Okay, that's everything done at this Hubble Bubbery. Now this one. Uh, I still don't have hedge magic. Okay, I need Master of Cauldron says to get this one. But I can't get the advanced. I can get the advanced one at least. There we are. All right, in the meantime, then I'm going to put that Dazing guy in uh, here to level up. All right, see the stuff she's got now. Come to do some shopping. Come to do some shopping, eh? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I can I can even buy Sovereign Soraway. Fully restores the user's HP. Fuck yeah. Give me some of that shit. I'll be honest, I don't think I even think like my HP needs that. Like I think my HP will get full from even a like a four leaf Soraway. Oh yes, a Prime Six Sense. Oh, I can even I can even buy these. Great Sage's Secret. Fully restores the user's HP and MP. Holy fuck. Like, oh, like, look at this. Sovereign Soraway Sweet. A sword layer rare sweet with a sticky Sovereign Soraway syrup center. <laughs> wow, that's a fucking mouthful. Fuller restores the whole party's HP. What do I even need? Uh, that one building that's like, it greatly increases how much MP, HP and MP your uh, medicine heals do. If you have, if you're getting items that heal you all the way anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> so many people are in my kingdom. So many things. All right, so a sense of style. Now I can get something else here. Level six on armor development. Uh, creative flare. I need two people with that. And hyper dexterity. I can get that as well. All right, stock Floyd. Give him his recipe books. Hello. Oh yes, yeah, the master Chow Chow. Hello there, Floyd. I saw Master Chow Chow not so long ago. He said he taught you the recipe for something called the Mate Meat Jackpot. Think, oi! Oh no, I've been I've been oh, rumbled, or ruined, R rumbled. You mean you weren't going to tell anyone? No, you don't understand. Just need some time to perfect the recipe, that's all. Uh... Just haven't quite managed to... match the taste of the ones they serve at the Sweet Saffron, you see. I'm almost there. It's just something that, about the sauce. I haven't quite managed to get that. It's perfect balance of spicy... Spice and sweetness, right? Really, it's nothing like it. I think I've... Worked out what I need to make the magic happen, but unfortunately, I don't have quite the right ingredients. Oh... Uh, okay, so... That's what the mysterious behavior was about. I'm sorry if I haven't been suspicious of you, Floyd. I'm going to poison you, your majesty. Well, I'll make it up to you by getting you the ingredients you need for the sauce. Do that for me, your majesty. I'll see you the greatest king a cat could ever hope for. I'm also a cat, too. Ah! <laughs> greatest cat king for a cat. I need the most important ingredient in any good sauce. Apples. Apples, really? Hmm? Ah! Ah! <laughs> apples, really? <laughs> oh, yes. The apples I have in mind is a very special one. It's grown rich in fertile soil. Bathed in 100 hours of golden sunlight to bring out the sweet deliciousness. <laughs> yes. Come of course, about a honey apple. Grow in the mountains there, ding dong dell. Nothing will do, else will do. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'm not gonna be able to get it probably uh, yet for a while. Uh, grab some other grits I'm going mm. to eat. One honey apple coming up. Uh, Whoa. Are you ready okay, more order? recipes. No, I do not have it yet. Not surprisingly. Meantime, let's go ahead and cook up some other shit though. Oh, yes, look at some pot, look, pot stickers. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's even got a it's even got a little paw on it. Victor's volcano. Level six now. Oh, this this requires level nine. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, the secret sauce. I see. Once I get the secret sauce, then I can make this. It strengthens all attacks. Mouth warming selection of succulent meats, barbecue of a blazing brazier. Fills you up nicely. Okay, for, fruits of fortune. Oh, almost sweet victory. Siren salad. Light, simple salad, cured raw fish of Hydropolitan Classic. Mmm. Mermaid's Delight. How about Medusa's hair? Oh, level seven now. Ocean's Bounty. Need some more Wonder Wheat. Uh, Kraken's Catch. Oh, there's Hydropolitan Stew. But I need, some, I need a Fab Crab. I don't have a fab crab. Rustic dish given a decadent spin with an exquisite sea urchin sauce. Mmm, yeah. We'll have us some centaur's blood. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get fucked. A zephyr Zabagolo Glion. 
Light tang tangy tropical tree. Serve chill. Perfect for stifling summer days. Mm, more. Can't get enough. More. Aquari aquarium jelly. Gotta fly flakes. Just a ball of car flakes. It's a rip off. Level eight, baby. Keep it going. How about a shot of salad right into my bloodstream? Mom's meat pie. Yeah. Dig in. <laughs> uh, the CEO, classic enormous outstanding burger. This burger will blow your fucking face off. Maya's like, oh my god, yes! Good old eggnog. Rocket fuel. Get up and go nuts. Wake me up before you go nuts. Do 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 do. Ah, uh, level nine, yes. Big cheesecake. Big. I think some of the stuff gets really rare. Oh, hey, I've got it. Oh, I can I can make this now because I had to be level nine to make it. A soft drink that guarantees to put a spring in your step or your money back. MPs gradually restore during battle. Fuck yeah. Scrumptious yogurt, mammoth egg, sour salt. Like, I think these things are things that I can only get probably from like my top tier areas. Only I can buy at the shop, which means I'm probably going to need to get my level, that like, kingdom to level four to be able to get it. Oh, lucky lobster. Do it. All right, now with charisma, I can get, causes enemies to flee in terror, leaving the lots more items on the battlefield. Yes. Yes. Okay, time to go ahead and nail some of these quests. Can we believe I did all that time, and I didn't even actually, like, do most of them? Well, I did some of them, because I had them already finished there, but I spent all that time just grabbing most of the quests, just, just initiating them. All right, let's go save that girl's dad, who's supposedly in the dry lands. Just sit on him for a while. Oh, that's right, there's a taste for timber. That's what I need for that one lumber, that, the lumber place. Let's go! On an adventure to save the dad. Your daddy Roland's missing. Well, I then there's no time to waste. The crack skin cave. Uh, don't see anybody. Oh. Huh? Hey, don't these tools look like the ones used in the capstone upon Hall? Hmm. Certainly do. What are they doing all the way out here? Oi! Wait, you don't think they belong to Keely's father, do you? Well, the blue marker brought us here, so that must be true. I mean, she did say she was he was heading in this direction. But something happened out at sea, and he ended up being washed ashore here. Oh my! Oh my! You're right, Tawny. That they must be his. Don't seem to have been used in a while, though. Hope this doesn't mean dead. Huh? Oh, he is dead! Oh my God! Huh? Oh, oh my god, that's kind of fucked up, actually. It's a ghost! Battle stations, everyone! Uh... Doesn't seem he wants to hurt hurt us. Do something! <laughs> do something! <laughs> do something, my son! I don't have it. You know what to do. Cast me a meet up on the spooky so-and-so here. Yeah. Let's see what that same cell. Oh, no! Daryl, Dad's dead! Daddy's not coming home today! Cast spirit medium spell. Eat this! Boom! Hey, revive me, asshole. Can you recast it? Don't you have a revive spell? Hey, it's right pain in the neck, is it? I talk and talk, but no one understands what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, uh, says you. Can you hear loud and clear? Thank you very much. What? Really? Last. How do? Name is Scully. I'm a fisherman from Capstone about all. Nice to meet you, Scully. What are you doing here, if you don't mind me asking? Well, it's a right long story what it is. It's all so when I set sail from Capstone and me, me ship. All goes swimmingly till I got caught in this awful storm. When the waves were bad enough, then I saw something to a blooming wormhole. Me ship were wrecked, and I ended up here. This cave looked like a good place to whip me da head down for a while, you see. I was saving first, but fat chance of that. Got attacked by monsters, and that was the enemy. Now I'm fucking dead. What I'll do now is go apologize to Akili back in Capstan for leaving her fending for herself, you know? I can't even leave this cave. I'm stuck by this dumb barrel. Funny well, enough, it was Kili who asked us to try and find you. Well, mm -hmm. shit. That's right. She's still in Capstan. Capstan waiting for you to come home. Oh, the poor thing's been waiting for me this whole time. Oh, don't, if don't bear thinking about. <laughs> hey, could you do me a favor, could you? Also, tap me. Punch me a necklace. Supposed to be willing to go and get it back for me. Huh? You what, man? You flipping necklace gotta do with the price. <laughs> What's your flipping necklace gotta do with the price of fish? Well, I was hoping to take it back to Capstan to give it a Kaylee as a souvenir, see? Make me feel a lot better if she has something to show for me running off and leaving her to lurch. And of course, we'll go and get it back for you. Well, hey, a fine lad. I'll be able to do much for you in return, man. I can maybe visit you in your dreams and sing you a couple of she shanties. <laughs> um, I think we'll 
be alright for sea shanties, thanks. Just go and get that necklace, shall we? I'm making my face again. I know I am. Okay. Defeat Clog. Daddy ain't coming home today. Oh. <laughs> uh, we, we sort of played it up as a bit of a a bit of a funny, but, but in reality, your dad's freaking dead. <laughs> oh, what do you know? He's right there. Hello, Clug. Damn, there's no way to get to him. Ah. Oh, wait, here we go. You look kind of big. How powerful are you? Level 44. Okay. That's uh, a bit more of a toughie, so let's go in. Amazingly, the big ape-looking things are not the the solid guys. They're actually these guys. They're nature, because I guess they're come from nature or something. Clog, he tainted. He needs to die. Ah, me clog. Me gonna unclog your face. Not today. Oh dear me. Oh my God. Ah! Oh yeah, I don't think so, son. Oh, <laughs> look, I was about to die there. That was a little painful. Yeah, see, a four-way, a four-leaf sore away can still uh, max me out here. Boom! Ah, die, motherfucker! Leander! Leander, I'm dead too, actually. Uh-oh, it's all up to Daddy Roll it. Fuck this, I'm out. Screw this bitch. Ah, yeah. Everybody level up. A big horn spear. Four pots of leaf away. Achilles keepsake. Mine. All right, here you go, Scully. Scully! Yes, that's it. That's me, necklace. Ta very much, kid. I mean it. Now, hate to be cheeky again, but I need you to do me one last favor. Take it to Kaylee and Capstan. Look on her face will make it worth your while, I promise. Mm. Of course, leave to us, Scully. Ta very much, lad. You're all the good ones you are. I'll be off then. Ta-ta! On to the afterlife I go! He's gone. <laughs> ah, well, he may run off and left her without, it, without Dad. But he loved her in his own way, eh? I know. Back to a cop's turn it is, then. He loved her in his own way. Even if he didn't get himself killed for no dumb reason. Here you go. Your dad's Excuse dead. Excuse me? Excuse me? We got something for you, Keely. Uh, huh? Eh? That's, that's right. Nice necklace, is it? Is that? Is it really for me? Yeah. Yes, well, your, your dad gave it to us to pass on to you. My dad got this for me. I didn't think he had any idea what kind of thing I liked. You know, if you hadn't come along, we did. Probably still here forever waiting for the old goat to come back. If y'all still stands, I'll have to join your, your king to say thanks. Oh! Do you realize that dad's dead? Did, did she get that? I, I don't know if she did. Of course, the office still stands, Keely. We'd love to have you. Ta very much. Ta very much, your majesty. Okay. Good, I'm glad we didn't have to break the news, at least not that way. New leaf book posts. New shores, new horizons. I grew up to see in good old Capstan. Now the ocean's my best friend, like. So I'm right grateful that everyone's nice and close to the water and all. Here's the last picture I took. I reckon I'll be half right happy. Let's make yourself useful and build a boat or two. All right, with that, I can build myself the uh, the other lumberyard. Towering lumberyard. Come. Boom. What, is that all you got? Come on, level that shit up. Here we go. Ugh. So the ones that require skills like this are the best ones and can only get to level two until I get to kingdom level four. All right, we're gonna do 60. Only 40 more. <laughs> 40 more, people. Okay, I need to get that person with the technophilia uh, thing. That's the little robot. So then I can research the thing that helps me with uh, boosting research. Research the thing that helps with research. All right, there he is. Time to die. <laughs> 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 Daddy roll it. Here it goes. Here it goes. Ah. Damn the quintillion core processor. All right. Yes. Right. We need got a quintillion core processor. Go give it to 
uh, Andy. People, I'm gonna die. Uh, please give it to me. Bye, there you go. Beep, boop, beep. Yay! You got me quintillion core processor. Time to put myself back on the cutting edge. Beep, boop. Oh, cracking metals. Are you going to do the honors? Uh-huh. Sure. Here's something that'll make you a little less dang, dang manipulative. Get ready, Andy. I'm going in. Going deep. You gonna turn this guy gold? And voila! Hey, well, I feel like a million guilders. Because I made him a million guilders. Yes, I'm gold. I don't understand that shit made you go. It doesn't make any sense. Beep boop. Hey there, Evan Petty Whisker Tildrum. Beep boop. Hey there, Bracken Meadows. Beep boop. I'm amazing, incredible, more powerful than ever. Thank you guys. Oh. Sounds like somebody's feeling better. Got our names right. <laughs> Boss is feeling better. <laughs> Evan Petty Whisker Tildrum, he's had the full Bracken Meadows treatment. <laughs> beep boop. Beep. Actually, I've been thinking it was super nice for you to agree to get me my new processor like that. I was thinking I might like to live in your kingdom where people are that nice. <laughs> Really? Oh, wonderful. You're more than welcome, Andrew. You'll be the first robot to join our kind. Beep, beep, thanks. I'll be sure to shout out next time I'm due, due for an upgrade. Oh, man, we've created a monster. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Andy. Okay, get the fuck through our kingdom, you little bastard. First, I'm gonna post on Fleetbook. We brought Andrew from Broadly if he was malfunctioning pretty badly. Well, we got him fixed up, but to be honest, I missed the way he used to be. Their excuse pesters give us more work. Heh, <laughs> such a thing as being too efficient. Efficiency is never a bad thing. I just, it is better to be useful than say, not, says I. Well, either way, well, folks seem to love him. <laughs> I love me more once he can fucking research some shit for me. All right, let's do that real quick. Unfortunately, I will have to have him be master level in order to actually research uh, the next level of that uh, version in the new one. Okay, that completes armor... <laughs> Oh, no, quality apparel development. Oh, I'm a superpower now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this one. Please be not a beginner. Ah, oh, damn it, he's a beginner. Fuck. It's going to take fucking forever to get you to master level to get the other thing. Help boost working. Okay, instant innovations. Okay, uh, use the idea equipment to prove the techniques that boost research speed. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and just do this one. I'm guessing it'll go up like another 10%, so that will be go 20% at a time, I guess. I wonder if it'll cost me more, though. Better not. Better research boost. Okay. Yeah, see, for this one, I need Master Tech Affiliate and also some with the zip zip effect. All right, you little bat, you little robot bastard. Sit here and grind. Grind your gears. This is going to take a while. So if I boost this one. Oh, 15%, really? That's it? 5%. Great. Thanks. It's for fucking nothing. I'm like a confusing licorice boomstick for Daddy Roland. Oh my god, it's so powerful too. A pyre pillar le level 10. There's Lux Dire Pillar. Ah, damn it. Sunset Prisms for that. Oh, finally, yes. Lifeline. Bring back capacitated allies and heals everyone's HP as well. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is what, that's right. This is what I wanted the Seraphic Silk for. Oh, that's what I want to see. And only, oh my god, it cost me 5 MP, though. Oh, hey, there we go. Level 15. Okay, that's that's the highest level I can get to. Oh, static Storm. Fuck yeah. Spark Storm. Midnight. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one next to boost the Bizarre's productivity, because that's also how I get my Seraphic Silk, which I need for that super healing spell. Here we are. What we got here? Beep, boop, please, you have to help me. Price is going down. Let's reprogram for late. Boop, boop, we got super comport cargo to deliver, but they're only route that gets to start us. They should run through abandoned territory. Can't stay here. We'll need to deliver a job again. So, look, you look like you can handle it yourself. Would you mind coming with us? Keep us safe mm. along the way. As a matter of fact, we're looking for you anyway. Price is wondering where his delivery had got to. Don't need to worry. We'll escort you. Your own cargo is safe with us. Boop, boop. Thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my, of my memory balls, we're all... <laughs> Set to leave whenever, so just say the word, okay? Oh. Time for a freaking skirmish. Level 17. All right, I should be fine then. Oh, God, I can't let any of the... Uh, escort all deliveries safe. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, God, not escort missions. Don't you die, you shit. Meep, meep, there are two group delivery groups. we got to protect both, okay? Don't fucking die yeah. on us. Same goes to you. Make sure you get cast on one piece. March! Oh, March! Just stay the fuck behind me. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna go ahead. 
Uh, where do they come from? They're too fast. Uh, kick their ass. Kill Jaden. Oh, scan party. I saw him. Looking around here somewhere. Oh, there they are. Fucking screw this. See, he's down it. The metal axe. Give us your cargoes. Uh, bitch. Uh, beep. <laughs> what the fucking? What are you doing? Oh my god, what are they doing? You stupid little fuckers. Oh my god. Don't run ahead, you stupid little shits. You want to die today? Who the fuck are you guys? Ah! Ah! Oh god! Beep, beep, danger! Hedgehogs coming! Disable all movements! What? Everything's coming to kill us! Why? So like, what the hell's happening? Ah! We can't afford to lose. We can't afford to die here. Die, you stupid hedgehounds! Uh, power up! Oh, wait, wait. Forward. Stop moving again! Oh god, there's enemies back here still. Follow my lead. This is oh god, the little robot's almost fucking dead. Just from this one little shit. No, don't shoot the wall, shoot Stop. him! Oh, I can't heal them either, though, can I? Uh, uh. Oh, wait, did we do it? I don't think we need to go that way. Yet. Oh, that's where they're going? Oh, we did it. Okay, good. I was like, oh. Made it, made it, made it group clear. Thank you. We love you so much. So sweet. There's no yeah, our wrong, man. We saved the circuits. Let's go, shall we? Let's get it locked to Captain One Piece. We did it! Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> like, everything that was out here just decided, was like, you know what, fuck those guys over there! We're just bandits. It was like eight, eight million other things. Meep Moop, you say my friends. Oh, thank you, thank you, I love you. <laughs> You're welcome, just call out Price, we'll get his delivery at last. Meep Moop, oh no, Price will be super mad. He's st stop being super late. We'll need to find safer route next time. There's, ne next time after this. Beep, beep, beep. Better head up broadly, right away. Make sure to drop by sometime, okay? Price is gonna want to thank you after what you did. Mm. All right, we'll do it. Be careful on your way back. Okay, back to Price. Hey, there you are. Delivery boss told me what you did. It sounds like those bandits would have gotten away with our cargo if it wasn't for you. Mm. Oh, I'm just glad everything found its way to you in the end. I'll be able to get on with your work now. Hey, listen, Evan, is it? Thanks for helping out with this. You've got your own stuff going on. I'd love to give you a little something for your trouble, but I've got to run. At least it's late already as it is. Hey, get back here! Oh! Oh, it's fine. Don't need to give me anything. Yes, you do. Uh. Okay, Thanks. I was like. Hey, all done. Thanks, Evan. Been in big trouble without you. I can't remember if I introduced myself, by the way. My name's Price. I'm a trader. And being a trader, I'm pretty impressed with what kind of goods are being round going around in other countries, which is why I've been thinking of paying your kingdom a little visit. Say, how about I pay my debt back that way? Come to your kingdom work out there for a while. Oh, that'd be lovely, Price. Can ask for a better reward. Good, come. With that, I should be able to buy the super bizarre uh, place as well. Uh, oh, God, a little shy man should take. Check out Steampunk Bowser, guys. Check this out, what do you think? Pretty neat, huh? Whole batch is looking pretty natty and, and pretty nasty, too. Give this the coolest picture I ever took. I'm gonna struggle to, I'm gonna struggle to the top it unless I can find an even cooler kingmaker our kingmakers ain't easy to photograph that's what the best it looks like all right I might as well deliver those packages real quick because I'm in the neighborhood okay young bloke okay you know you just you're gonna mark them on the map anyway so three minute steak delivery here we go son do I have the ability to teleport around I do here's a steak bitch boom Smack him right in the yeah. face. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I love steak. I love steak. Steak for you, lady. Oh, oh my god! The fact that you can just teleport around. I mean, it's already giving you plenty of time, but just teleport around makes this so easy. 
three minutes is way more than necessary. One minute would have been probably... Even then, not even that big of a challenge. Oh my god, what? Our steak, oh, it's perfect, yay! Who the fuck orders steak online? Bat, eh? And it looks like you delivered the bleeding goods and all tiny. We did indeed. Hot, sizzling hot steaks for everyone. Everybody! Eep, eep, eep. That's blue, the blooping spirit, Mon. I knew I picked the right lamp for the job. Rhino, I better give you something for all your artwork, Let's ain't it? Stop it! Do it right, you had. Come on, hit over! What is it, by the way? Hey, hey, hey. It's, only a, it's only a sample or two of my bleeping specialty, the executive blooping steak. What the? What the? Executive steak? That's right, Mont. It's pretty much the tastiest thing in the whole bleeping world, but don't take my word for it. President Vector blooping lots of things. Blooping, bleeping, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, all over my body. Oh, thank you. This really is ever so kind of you. Eep, eep. I, at least I can do, Mont. At least I can do. Right? Bop by again, ain't it? No more deliveries next time. Not gonna slap a metal meal on the house. <laughs> Sounds wonderful, thank you. I'm bleeping the best, and I don't talk for now. All right, good, gotcha. All right, little six armor development, done. All right, now I can build the Wondrous Bazaar. Boom. Oh, I get a Dream Prism here. To complete that one quest. Okay, here we go. Dream Prism. Hmm. Yes, my dream prism. Hmm. Dreamy is right, it's beautiful. Such a pretty piece of crystal, right? It's just the magic in it. I worked this up to a nice wand. Oi! Well, just make sure it doesn't get broken, whatever you do. Oh, don't worry, I'll make sure it stays in one piece. Maybe I'll just wear it around my neck or something. I mean, imagine having all the magical power so close to your heart. Do whatever you want with it. We're just glad you like it. Oh. Oh, I really do. You know, I'd be really impressed how you picked out all this great stuff for us. Yeah, you ever. I really have a real eye. I've known this would suit me so well. Same here. I thought flowers and jewels and all that stuff just wasn't for me, but you totally changed my mind. <laughs> Not bad, Tony. <laughs> Heh, couldn't have done without you, Evan. Thanks for helping me find it all. Okay, guys, better get back to thinking about how we're going to get ahead of work. Can to catch you again sometime? See ya. See ya. <laughs> Heh, this little. A lot. Don't, don't mess around, eh? I like it. Yeah! We thought these guys would join me, because. They're like, each specialize in a specific thing that could also work for my kingdom, but... Okay! Diary of a Dating Disaster. So I have this attractive young woman, woman with flame red hair for a date. Most pleasantly surprised when she agreed. Well, it turns out she just wished me to assist her in her testing manner of armaments and explosives. Fear we're not meant to be together. But I was just attract, right? No, you're gonna die alone. I'm kidding. Uh, oh. Now Welcome I can pick, now I can pick them up shots. here, can't I? Yeah! Just her, though, interestingly enough. Yano, the bold weapon designer. Although I suppose the other ones might join me at some point. Oh, I feel for steel. It's a big cheesecake. Yes, good. I need you for weapon stuff. I kind of had a feeling. At least one of them had to join me. After talking about all that shit. Hey, Evan, how's it going? I've got to tell you, things are going pretty great with me right now. Like, this was a huge hit. Who would have thought there'd be such a big mark for weapons that look like fashion accessories? He's good for bringing that shell, by the way. That was super nice of you. So, do you want to talk about something? Sure. Kind of look like you do. Or did you come join your kingdom? They never ask. Where are I sign? Come on down. I mean, you have weapons for all the kingdom, uh, the world there, right? Maybe some kind of See paradise. Guess I'll be seeing you there. Catch you later. Oh, you guys have something else you Hi. want me to do? Oh, Evan, sure, sure. I remember you now. Remember what kind of me? Thanks so much. Super busy. Super uh, busy. Super busy. In fact, working on the code for the next gem we're developing, and we're getting, just getting to the crunch. First thing I've get to distress these days is my my martial arts class. I've been doing some fencing these past mm. few weeks. That sounds fun. I'm getting kind of good, too. All the guys at the go dojo keep telling me how much I'm improving. That's wonderful. Oh, that gives me an idea. There's some people with skills like that in our kingdom. Just kind of come and live there. Okay, you, you all you all are coming here. I knew it. I was like, come on, there's no way. We're talking about magic, armor, and fucking weapons, all right? There's no way they're not coming here. So oh. Sorry, no can do. Uh, oh, are you sure I can't convince you? It's not the right time for me. Things are going super well career-wise right now. Stay on my toes, you know? Mix up the best in the business a little while longer. Listen about this. Give me my terms, if you can meet them. May I'll maybe think about letting you headhunt me. Yeah, of course. Yeah. What are these terms of yours? I like to tax in or for four thick and modern ruler. Just show me that you're an equal opp opportunities employer by recruiting at least three women to your army. Oh, I'm pretty sure I got that. Do that, I might be willing to right. consider your offer. Okay. Yep, I already got it. Oh, good, and you also have Technophilia. And Alpha Females. Talent for Tech, they know, boost the work at Institute of Innovation. 
Join me. <laughs> hey, Evan, who's your friend? Well, you said you'd consider coming to my kingdom if I could recruit some female fighters in my army. So I thought I'd bring one along, with, along to meet you. So enough to convince you that I'm an equal opportunity employer. It sure is. Very impressed. Seems your kingdom is the perfect place for an ambitious woman looking to get ahead. Yeah. Which means I need to be there. I'd be more than happy to join you if you're still hiring. Okay, cool. Alpha females. Can't wait to stand alongside my sisters and show everybody who runs the world! Man, my titties! Level 18. Uh, reduces the damage from enemy melee attacks. That's good. We gain the armor of the enemy unit directly ahead, lowering its defense. Also good. I think I still like the the other one, because it this is guaranteed to increase the attack of all my allies. While the other one is like, I have to aim it, and I can only hit a few people at once. Okay. Hey there, King Evan of the Heartlands. Say, you know a little about mm. magic, right? Well, a little bit, yes, I suppose. <laughs> Somebody to say that. There's a spell I want you to cast on me, see? Um, you want me to cast a spell on you? Yep. It's a spell called Rejuvenate. Get where I'm going with this, right? Call it kind of a anti-aging um, experiment. Anti-aging? I'm not sure yeah. I follow. Lots of people are obsessed with looking young and healthy, right? Some people will watch what they eat. Others put stuff in their skin. I'm just curious to see if you can achieve the same effect using magic is all. I mean, it's a huge market. If it works, I'll be rich! Okay, how about I sweeten the deal? In exchange for your help, I'll be able to move to your kingdom and continue my research. You're not just into this stuff, but into all kinds of other magical mm. miracles. All right, not sure if this will work, but might as well give it a try. Okay, crystal, expert's instinct, cool. Oh, this is the other quest that was uh, that lined up with the other one that apparently created the glitch, because it also and it also involves rejuvenate. Makes sense. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, I'm ready. But are you really sure it's a good idea? Yes. You bet I am. Just make. Don't make me too young, okay? Guessing you don't have much use for a magical magical researcher with the brain of a kid. Gosh. Gosh, you're more nervous about this now. All right, call straight Evan. Don't make her too young. Don't make her too young. <laughs> I'm gonna unbirth you. <laughs> oh shit, she disappeared. She was never born. Well, did it work? <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Now the picture soft skin of a girl half my age. Because my magic can really be used for anti-aging purposes. I will live forever! <sighs> oh, what a relief. I'm sure you could ask anyone to cast Juvenate for you very often, though, Crystal. It takes a lot out of one. <laughs> yeah. Sure, it does. It does right now, but we'll soon fix that. The minute I get set up in your kingdom, I'll go to work on making a Juvenate a piece of cake to cast. Before you know it, nobody will ever get a wrinkly again. Golly! Um, wonderful. All right, good. Yeah. Ah, damn it. I was really hoping this person would have technophilia and be a veteran so they get to master more quickly. Oh, well. Now the field for steel. I can do... Yes, this one. Quality weapon development three. All right, guys. This seems like a good place and things here for now. God, there are a lot of side quests in this game. I would even probably say that, like, almost half of the of this game's, like, gameplay is, is doing the side quests. And it's just so necessary, like, for... Uh, growth in uh, not just your kingdom, but also for your party members, it's, it's really necessary, it feels like, you know, to, to do them. Or at least do as many as you can. But it's fun, I'm enjoying it. There, I mean, some of them could be a bit samey, but I do appreciate at least them going out of their way to uh, uh, make unique uh, conversations with people, even if, it, like, it kind of reminds me of, like, the Nier games a bit, you know? Like, both Nier Gestalt and Nier Automata were like that, where what they had you doing was not really anything, like, that incredible just fetching stuff or killing certain enemies. But they at least went out of their way to make the uh, the dialogue interesting with the people who were helping you out. I remember the best parts of your guest stalt uh, for those side quests were just uh, listening to uh, where my guy talking to Vice. Like that little banter. It goes a long way. And even then, I still got a bunch in, in the town here, which I imagine are probably not really for so much for recruiting, but just kind of extra stuff. So not to mention the few that I still... The ones I haven't finished yet. Like, oh, Lord, look how many there are. So many. I don't know if I'll try to tackle them all next episode or not. Maybe just the ones that have people or, or something for uh, heading to Ding Dong Dell. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already. Become a picky penguin. Or the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.